Hi everybody. Well, if you can see out the back there, it is a sunny day. Thank God. Wow. It's been so crappy the weather this, this week. Um, I'm just so thankful to see the sun. It's only about 45 degrees right now, but I'm shorts and a flip-flop. And with the sun and, and being a mile high, it, it really makes the sun much stronger. Um, so what am I doing today? I am making uh, some flip-flops. Um, went to Lowe's, couldn't find what I was looking for. Home Depot ended up having um, uh, a mat. Ended up having fairly thin, but this is made from recycled car tires. 100% um, re recycled material, so it's nice, strong car tire material like you would get if you were to cut your own up. But with all the steel belt, without all the steel belts and stuff, got a nice pair of scissors, and um, I'm gonna make some flip flops and some sandals, and I'm gonna make a two or three of them since it's so, it's so big. It's uh, two by four, two foot by four foot. So this is a big old piece of of rubber, so I can make as many sandals as I possibly want. So I'm gonna make a bunch of them, and I'm gonna try different designs, um, different kind of flip flops, and I'm gonna make my Hirachi. I think the Hirachi, the Hirachi sandals that lace around your foot. Let's cut out the pattern. So what am I using for a pattern? Am I going to measure my foot and all that stuff? No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these flip flops. They're brand new. I bought them on sale for a couple bucks at Walmart. But I love the design. The, this is perfect for my foot. It's the perfect shape. So I'm just going to trace these babies out. And um, trace them out and then cut them out. And these will, this will be my pattern for my, um, for my sandals and flip-flops. Now, you can always just trace your foot on a piece of paper and do that. But um, I like this because it leaves a little room. When you trace your foot, so here's the thing. If you trace your foot, you're going to get really close to your toes and your heel. And there's no wiggle room. And I found that from doing this before, with uh, I practiced on old uh, thrown-away carpets like um, industrial carpets you'd, you'd find in a business or something. Um, patches of carpets, I started trying it with it. And it gets too close, your toes get right to the edge, and it, it kinda, it doesn't feel protective enough to me. So, um, I'm gonna do it this, just following a, my a good pair of flip-flops that, that seem to fit white. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Oh, and by the way, by the way, this the price of this came out to $19 for this big piece of um, 36 by 48. It's not two feet. It's 36 by 48. So this is quite a few flip flops. But I'm doing it this way because it's going to be a whole lot easier to work with a six inch strip than to work with a gigantic strip. So, beautiful. So there's my flip-flop patterns. Let's get them traced out. Get it good and flat. Oh, I want to do it this way. It's nice. It's flatter on this side. Makes better sense. All right. So weird thing, back back in the old days, um, lefties, if, if you were left-handed, they thought there was something wrong with you back in the 70s, and so everyone tried to get you to be right-handed. Um, when you were a little baby, a toddler, they stuck your, if you grabbed the spoon with your right left hand, they stuck it in your right hand, and they continually did that over and over again, um, because they thought there was something that it was you would not be as smart if you were stayed left-handed. So anyway, um, they no one could ever kick me of being left-handed except for my scissors. 
I only cut with my right hand because in school they really only had right-handed scissors because everyone was supposed to be right-handed and um, and so it's, that kind of stuck with me and so I've always been right-handed with scissors. I can't do it with the other hand so it's kind of a funny story. This is some tough rubber. These are some very heavy duty scissors and they are, they are having a tough time getting through this rubber. So that means this stuff is gonna last a long time. There you go. Well, my foot will go this way. So I get some traction on that side. This will be for traction on the road or wherever I'm walking. And my foot will be on this side. So, all right. So here we go. Here's our two pieces. We put our feet in where we want them. Not too close to the heel because your feet will move a little bit. Not too close to the toe, just kind of right in the middle there. Then we take our pen and we go straight down and we go back a little bit. Got it. Okay. Same thing here. We go straight down and then back a little bit. Put a little X. Now the other part of that is your feet are in place. You put your finger, take your knuckle bone, Go straight down and go in front of your finger and in about half an inch, three quarters of an inch. Okay? So there's one, same thing, finger goes down the side and then on the inside of the finger and there's my X. As you can see, maybe you can't. Um, when you follow that whole knuckle bone thing, they're not even. And if you look at a normal pair of flip-flops, they'll be dead even across. Um, I'm doing it this way first because these are going to be, this is my design for my Hirachi sandals, which I know will work. So one is up here and one is back here. And so this is the way you, this is the setup if you're going to do Hirachi sandals and I'll show you the lacing of that. And this is a very secure sandal. It's one piece of string that goes from the tongue, from the between your toes, the thong part, around, 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 and it makes all it just makes one nice sandal. So I'm gonna start with this. Smaller than a quarter inch drill bit. So I'm not exactly sure what size that is. Ooh, that's nice and firm. Three holes. 